Today I'll be reviewing the Virgio dashboard. First up, I'm going to log into my environment. Logins can be supported by two-factor authentication and other OAuth authentication sources such as GitLab, Okta, Azure Active Directory, and many more. Something to note is that every function and process within our operating system is callable via our REST API. Now, as we can see, under one pane of glass, I have my entire virtual data center presented to me. In the traditional world, all the stacks of the data center are split into silos between compute, storage, and networking, which can be an absolute headache to manage, especially on a license standpoint. Virgio is simply one fully integrated product and license with our entire software suite delivered to you as a single offering for all you need to manage your private cloud. For context, we have a grouping of like nodes, which are physical servers. These like servers come together to consist of one cluster. So for instance, we can fully integrate an AMD compute cluster and an Intel storage cluster under one pane of glass. Virgio, upon installation, simply extrapolates and presents to you all of the resources from these clusters accordingly. The two node cluster in my system today, for instance, is delivering to me a hyper-converged environment where I have my cores, RAM, and storage presented to me. I can use these resources to procure out things like virtual machines or utilize them to employ more secure virtual data centers just like this one, which we call tenants. Our storage is fully integrated to our platform and we recognize five different tiers of storage depending on the drive's read and write levels participating in our vSAN. Tier 1 through 3 is typically going to be your solid state, and Tier 4 and 5 we represent a spinning disk, which is typically used for archive clusters. Now we run as a RAIN, which is a redundant array of independent nodes, so if you're looking for backups out of your platform, Virgio has you covered out of the box. Media images on the left side here is where we can upload things like ISOs, VHDs, VMDKs, OVAs. Virtually any machine file type can be uploaded and leveraged to stand up within our system. Our machines here in the top left is what represents our hypervisor. This is based off of KVM or QEMU. So if you're looking for a hypervisor, ours is fully integrated into the Verge OS. Networks represents our software-defined networking panel where we can take control of everything and act as the firewall doing DDoS protection, facilitating BGP, OSPF failover. Authoritative DNS is even built in here. So if you're comfortable with learning a new networking platform, you can do away with your firewall licenses and hardware. As you can imagine, VPNs are also available to be set up on our system as we support WireGuard to securely connect locations. For internal networking, we support VXLAN, which allows us to stand up a virtually infinite amount of internal networks for our environment in order to isolate machines. Even having isolated internal networks with the same exact subnet is supportable here. Tenants, as I mentioned previously, are our own virtual data center instances, which have their own dedicated resources and their own dashboard, similar to what I'm showing you now. Every tenant is just as isolated and secure as the next as it gets its own instance of our underlying operating system. As we can see on the right side here, I can get a brief look of the virtual data centers that I have deployed beneath me and their resource utilization in real time as well. Repositories represent our recipe engine, which brings a lot of the automation to our platform. I can recipe out virtual machines in the state that they're in and save them to instantly redeploy again later, however many times I need them. This is done again in an instant, and the same functionality can be employed for tenants, where I can recipe out an entirely new, secure virtual data center instance with networks set up in a particular way, virtual machines deployed in a particular way, users, groups, etc. The entire data center deployment process can be automated here. Sites represents our ability to integrate different environments or geographical locations. We do asynchronous site-to-site -site replication. Now, I only have one site here today, but what I can do to leverage another site is pack up and move entirely secure virtual data centers on the fly from one location to the next with no concern of the underlying hardware. Being able to do this securely completely replaces any disaster recovery tool on the market today. Your DR planning and strategy from stand-up to implementation can go from three to five months to less than a few hours by sending an entirely integrated stack over the wire. Users and groups is where we regulate access within our environment, so we can get really granular with the permissions regarding what a user can and cannot do when they log into the system, like turning on and off a virtual machine, creating other users, etc. We also support the ability to create an individual user that only has VDI access, and when they log in, similar to how I did, what they have presented to them is just the virtual machines that they have access to. You can leverage our group system for pulling together permissions like these and setting up network admins or sysadmin groups for alerts within the system as well. 
Now, alerts can be based off of our robust logging system. At the bottom of every page in the system, we're capturing logs of everything that's happening within our data center. So we can see where I'm logging in from, the IP address I'm coming from, what time it happened, etc. Every action for your infrastructure is captured here. Even automated tasks and statuses, which can all be configured against our users and group emails for full transparency within the data center. So we give you full transparency here, and if you're looking for a system management tool to purchase, ours is built directly into our platform. We have many other features, but one of the last I want to review here is our backup and disaster recovery capabilities for third-party environments. What we can do is we can tie into something like a VMware environment running vSphere and ingest all of its virtual machines even while they're running. We can pull them into Verge I.O. and leverage all of the built-in capabilities that I just reviewed with you today. At a very high level, this is a review of the Verge I.O. dashboard.